Oh my god, I feel so dirty right now. What is up, YouTube? Bam! So today we got a solo vlog, which means it's just gonna be me. There will be no one else. I know what you guys are thinking. What's uh, what's with this, Derek? Uh, no one wants to see that, Derek. Uh, put that away. Um, you're kind of uh, in the same boat here, buddy. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. I feel so dirty right now. <laughs> Proceed. Thank you. I wanted to do something a little bit different today, and uh, here we are. I'm half naked, so that's uh, that's different. Uh, before I get into what this whole vlog is gonna be, I do want to uh, just for our guys that I do uh, I do realize since I've been doing this, I've kind of been watering down my personality and sense of humor, and I think that. From this point on, I'm going to give you guys who I am as a person, which means, uh, yes, there is a decent heart there. There is a very good person who loves his life, who loves his friends, who loves his family, all that stuff, but is also kind of a who uh, loves getting into fights and starting so I think from this point on, you guys are going to be seeing more of who I am as a person and less of just what I think is going to uh, look good for me. Alright, so with that said, guys, uh, there is one thing throughout my life that I've been getting a lot of questions about. No, it's not about the recent developments. My what, uh, what the questions I usually get are about my tattoos. If they have any meeting, if they are just there to be there, and I uh, figured I'm going to take this video today and... Uh, I'm actually going to uh, explain my top five most meaningful tattoos to you guys. Here we go guys, these are my top five most meaningful tattoos that I have and what they mean. Number one, and uh, I will say this, we're going in descending order guys, so number one is actually number five. Number one is actually the first tattoo I ever got, which is this one, Blink-182. So now you guys see why I'm half naked. Because there are a lot of tattoos to be pointed out here. So, the whole point behind this is, yes, Blink-182 has been my favorite band since I was about 13, which is about the time that I started noticing and really getting into music the way I am now. Which, for any of you who know, I am a big, big, big music fan. And, uh, being 13 and, uh, having Blink-182 come out and just kind of changed my life, kind of gave me a little bit of direction into who I am today, so when I decided upon my first tattoo, it had to be that, and uh, it's more than just that though, guys. Uh, the main reason behind it is, uh, like I said, it was for at least 10 years, Blink-22 has been my favorite band. Everything they've done, everything that has been a part of my life since I was 13 and uh, no matter what music I got into, what style I got into, anything, that was the one constant in my life is that I loved Blink-182. So by getting this it was kind of a little thing to myself saying, you know, stick to your roots. Uh, you know, times are gonna change, people are gonna change, but if you can wake up every day and, real and know that you're being yourself that you're giving who you are to the world, you're doing something right. So that is actually the full meaning behind my Blink-182 tattoo. So that is what puts this in my top five most meaningful tattoos because it does have that big significant meaning to me on top of being my first tattoo. Number two is uh, actually my second tattoo I ever got by Kevin Landry and uh, that is the Keyblade Heartless symbol, and uh, this one has a little more depth and meaning to it, and I will uh, explain that to you guys, where, again, like the Blink one, I am a huge, huge, huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I mean, my lord, do I love that game. <laughs> but to me, it has a more significant meaning of the Heartless symbol with the crossed uh, Keyblades. It's... Not, it's some, that's one of the few, like, ones that I had in my head pictured, and, uh, what it comes down to is, in my life, guys, there, 
There have been times where, you know, I haven't been the best person, and I've been kind of heartless, I've been thoughtless, and I've hurt people who truly didn't deserve it a few times more recently than uh, not. But, you know, I am only human, and I do make mistakes. It's part of life. It's part of growing up, and you learn and adjust from it. However, the point of that is, with the heartless symbol, it's kind of representing that darkness in me, that capacity to be this person that I do not want to be, this heartless, just careless, thoughtless person, where the Keyblades represent that no matter what I'm doing in my life, no matter what happens, it's my job to fight being that person. It's my job to be a decent human being and just, no matter what I do, do it with all of my heart. So when I got this, you know, uh, it was kind of one of those things that, you know, I, looking back on my life, I was kind of starting to own up to some of the mistakes I've made in my life, and it kind of got me down a lot, but, you know, sitting there and saying, you know, I was in the wrong for these things, and, you know, it's not all right, but, you know, I realize that it's part of life, it's part of growing, you're not going to know what's wrong or what's going on until you acknowledge it. Am I proud of some of the things I've done? Absolutely not, but you know what, they've made me who I am. If I didn't make these mistakes, if I didn't act on anger or hatred or just bad coincidences, I wouldn't have learned from the mistakes. What it comes down to is the whole reason of this tattoo is just saying, you know, I know that I've f***ed up before, but Every day is a new chance to do better, to be better, to just walk away from these things that you've done wrong and do better. I need an adult. Number three. Up. Number three, uh, whereas the last two were kind of from a place of growing and uh, just positive, this one, not so much, guys. This one is a... Uh, from a very dark place in my life, and I'm going to share it with you. So number three is this bad boy right here, this skull and snake. Now, uh, what makes this one significant is uh, this was the first tattoo I got after uh, one of my really big breakups, and this one kind of shook my life up a little bit, like to the point that I uh, I was so developed in hatred and anger and just not myself, that I was at this point where I was going to burst, like there was so much negative emotions in me that this image, just the snake and the dagger and the skull, it's just all my darkness, all that hatred and anger that I had built up in me, just put on myself as a reminder that, you know, sometimes this stuff is going to happen. You're going to have days where you're going to wake up and someone's going to piss you off, you're going to have a breakup and it's gonna go badly just you know it's okay to be angry it's okay to be mad it's okay to do that but you know I think in the long run what it comes down to is uh, just learning to let it go and by getting this tattoo it was now constantly going to be on my leg as a reminder that you know I am a human being I have all these emotions that are gonna go through me whether they're positive or negative but the, the uh, important thing is that, you know, you just, I look at this and I remember that time. I remember a point in my life where I thought that this was done, this was war, this is, and I see it now and I realize, you know, how much better things got, how much easier things got, and, you know, it's one of those things that, to me at least, personally, it's kind of like my release. It's all that darkness I have inside me just right there to remember that. Number two is, uh... Sorry about that. I'm not a good dancer. Number two is this bad boy right here. The one on my chest closest to my heart. What this is, is for any of you who don't know, I've mentioned it before many times that my favorite band is a band out of Philadelphia called The Wonder Years. They have a little mascot pigeon named Hank, which is this. And right next to it is uh, a lyric that I kind of hold strong in my heart by them, which is, 
It's not about forcing happiness, it's about not letting sadness win. You know, my whole life I've kind of had issues with depression, and the fact is, I'm a normal human being, I don't know how the hell to handle it, I don't know what the f*** I'm doing half the time, and I think my big mistake that I've done is when bad things happen, I will just instantly be like, try to stuff it down and just force that happiness on and just say, the world needs you happy, the people around you need you to be happy, and... You know, I think, uh, uh, like I said, there are times where you're not going to have a good day. There are times where things aren't going to go your way. There are times when you're going to be at the end of the rope and you're not going to know what to do. And I think the worst thing that you or me, myself, can do is just try to ignore it and stuff it down. And so this particular lyric in this tattoo, which I got this close to my heart for this reason, is, uh, one of my biggest life lessons I think I've learned over my life, and that's, uh, you know, just don't hide your emotions. Don't give up on something, you know. let Yes, it, let it go, grow from it, but when things are going bad, you're allowed to be sad. When things are not where they should be, you're allowed to be frustrated. It's, you know, as human beings, we are allowed to have these spectrum of emotions that... You know, some of us <clears throat> uh, tend to have them, about 600 of them, in a daily basis. It doesn't make me any less of a person to actually act on that. It doesn't make me any less of a man to sit there and admit that I'm not happy with this current situation and I don't like it. So, I mean, I lost my train of thought. Awesome, 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 awesome. Alright, so there is a top uh, four, and this last one, um, this one comes with an actual backstory, guys, so you're going to enjoy this one. This one is uh, something that I do hold very high in regard to my life, and uh, it's unfinished for a certain reason. And the number one most meaningful tattoo to me is... This right here. Oh yes, if you can't tell, that is Jack and Sally. And a Blink-182 lyric. All in one! And I really don't want to lose direction again, because I'm afraid that might happen. This particular tattoo is something that I've wanted since I was about 16 years old. My reasoning behind it is, uh, to me, it all comes down to love. And uh, for anyone who knows me, personally knows that that is something that I have nothing but faith, nothing but belief in. Gee, Derek, how does that, that Jack and Sally tattoo equal love? Let me explain. Let me explain. So to me, like, just the concept of Jack and Sally is like one of the most touching, beautiful love stories that I have ever witnessed in my life. So my whole purpose behind this tattoo was I was not going to get it until there was a day in my life where I woke up and knew that I had met the person that I would be perfectly happy spending the rest of my life with knowing that I'm that in love with someone and uh, then she came along and even before we were together even before you know any of the relationship and all that stuff happened like as soon as we started talking I knew what I wanted out of this I knew that this was going to be either be it for me or is going to completely break me I uh, decided that because of this, knowing that I woke up and knowing that this truly is probably one of the first times that I've been this just truly completely in love that it was time for this tattoo. So I got this tattoo and uh, I didn't get it finished on purpose and we'll get into that. Just from how much we talked I was already like, no I'm going to marry this woman. End of discussion. So I got this. Basically, the outline started, and, you know, I decided that after we got married, then I was going to finish it, because at that point, this story was complete. I found my Sally. I have that person that I will now have this love story that will change my life with. Obviously, not finished, and I'm not married, so, uh, <laughs> I don't regret it at all, because the fact is, regardless of how it turned out, Fact is, I love this girl with all my heart while I was with her, and I, it's kind of a 
good peace of mind because yes I've been in love before this I have had people that I care deeply about but I always questioned if you know I ever felt real true like this is it love and now I can look down and see it and know yes I have felt it I know that I am actually capable of having this much love for someone that is it for my top five most meaningful tattoos and uh, I would get into more but I have 20 of them that would have been a very long video and then I factored in a lot of them were just you know what, it, I'm gonna get a tattoo today but either way I figured you know we'll simplify it down to the top five and uh, I do tend to overthink if you haven't been able to tell by this but I hope you guys did enjoy it and you know if you guys get some uh, tattoo stories or meanings that you guys want to share drop the uh, story right down below because uh, maybe at some point we'll uh, if you guys liked this and uh, take it all in, want to see more of this, I'm sure you don't. We will do a second video and I'll read some of you guys' uh, tattoo stories and why you have them. Give you guys a little bit of share of what I do here. That's uh, that's where we are with this video. I uh, wanted to do something more shenanigans, but you know I figured for going back to a normal thing, something like this, more just personal, might have been a good idea. I haven't done anything like this in a while. Actually, I did it like two weeks ago. Shut the f*** up, Derek. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up. If you absolutely f***ing hated it, I, uh, I'm sorry about that. I hope I'll uh, please you next time. And uh, if you're just sitting there and uh, trying to uh, be a hater on me for stupid reasons, you're still giving me a view. Thank you. Alright, so uh, I will catch you guys Saturday, back to the normal twice a week schedule. I, I hope you guys will enjoy what's coming next, because uh, <laughs> I have no idea what it is yet. I really do. Alright, so guys, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to see more uh, shirtless Derek, probably not going to happen. Alright guys, I will catch you Saturday. <laughs>